We're bringing you the Chicago Bulls out at United Center as they'll face off against the New Orleans Pelicans. Well, for New Orleans, they're keeping pace with their win total from last season, holding steady, though they'd like to move the needle and continue to improve. Well, it's rare these days to see a big man like Anthony Davis who can explode on the offensive end the way he can. What makes him so potent, Kenny? Inside, outside, Ernie. You yeah. know, he can get it inside, he can get it outside. He's impossible to guard in 50-point nights. I'm telling you, 50, 5-0, all you, possibility. And what I like, he gets all the touches he wants on the floor. Way to feed the big man, Pelicans. Ah, ah, ah. That's the That's same that thing, thing you used for the Hawks. It's still a bird, though, right? Yeah, Thank you. horrible. Kevin Harlan, it's all yours. Hey, I am telling y'all, man, this boy is going to be a star, man. He made this song. It's so hot. Hey, hey, DJ, DJ, man, hurry up. Come here. What's you got to hear this song, Lil' Jug Drop. It's oh, yeah? so fire. Do it, Jug. Do it. All right, Do I got it. you. I'm going to hit you with just the chorus, okay? Ooh, the chorus. Okay. You drop the beat? Yeah, I got you. Come on. Uh, young DJ, call me rookie of the year. Do a spin move, might just end your whole career. I'm with Jamie, he's a legend of the game. A legend. They love me, they be calling out my name. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on up in here? What is, Brandon, get you and your mop out of here right now. Sorry, coach. All right, we got a game to prepare for. I want to see everybody focused here, okay? We have a game and a few. Right. I need to see people watching film, you know? Film, 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 Mentally film. preparing themselves. Prepare, gotcha, get out there and shoot around if you yes, have to. Shoot around. Yes, you coach. Got gotcha, coach. coach. Yeah. We're going to be out there. Because, see, that's what I like to hear, Shammy. Because I'm the coach and I make all the rules. <laughs> hey. Man, where did he come from? You got me in trouble. That's what you did. they call the United Center in Chicago the home of the Bulls where today we'll be broadcasting live joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Perry this is Kevin Harlan our sideline reporter David Aldrin well it was the New Orleans Pelicans in their last game changes for Chicago Markinen, he's checked in for Lopez Irritich comes in for Portis and it's Brown in for Grant each one more he's checked in for New Orleans Holiday comes in for Rajon Rondo. Setting the floor now for the Pelicans. Hill and Davis are the forwards. Holiday and Moore are the guards. And it's Cousins in at the five down low. Craig from his one and done season at Kentucky, leading college basketball in block shots. We knew Anthony Davis could dominate defensively, but did you have any idea he'd be this good offensively? None. I mean, well, I mean with his length and athleticism, you knew he'd have an impact as a finisher. 
But the way his shooting has developed, it has been remarkable. Now, granted, this was a guy that at one point was recruited to play point guard coming out of high school, but he's playing more like a shooting guard with his skill set. New Orleans leading by 10. Here's Hill. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. And that's now nine points for Hill. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Arkanen passes to Levine. The shot, no good. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. And here's more outside. Miracic grabs the miss. For Chicago, they've gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. That one may be a little beyond his comfort zone, but he made it count. New Orleans has gone three of four on three-pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. And Hill has it in the corner. Davis with a screen on Levine. Hill kicks to Moore. Over in the corner, Cousins. And here's Hill for three. Tips it up. Davis on the follow. Davis has got six points. Well, the Brow doing a good job of reading and being aggressive after the read. Excellent at hitting the glass with the length that he has. Miritich against Davis. With some arc, Miritich's shot is off. Pelicans leading by 11. Here's more. Davis dishes to Cousins. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Yes, Cousins has got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, that, that's three of their last five baskets in transition. Brown the pass to Miritich. Brown with it. Miritich the screen. Inside, taken away by Holiday. And here we go. Pelicans running again. And he got the whistle, so he'll have a three-point play opportunity. And you can see the lower body strength from AD right there, able to take contact, get fouled, and still get the shot to go. Chicago making some changes. Justin Holiday comes in for Palantine. And Wells is subbed in for Levine. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Miller's checked in. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. Well, that screen wasn't quite as effective as it could be. However, they find a way to get it done. Credit the shooter for overcoming that aggressive defense. The Bulls have been good at the line so far, five of five. Free throw good from Holiday. Ain't no doubt about it. Some of the tremendous scorers at the two guard spot. But Brent, who are some of the best all around shooting guards in the NBA right now? I think Blake Thompson sets the standard for what it is that you want in a two way player, both defensively stepping up to the challenge and shutting down the elite scorers and then his incredible shooting ability. But there's a guy in Portland who's not far behind him. Don't you think, Kevin, in that C.J. McCollum? Yeah, McCollum is, is a rising player in that regard. I, I love the guys with the all-around game, and they're hard to find because it takes some sacrifice to play both ends hard. No good on the free throw. When Anthony Davis came into the NBA, you started to think about how he could dominate on the post, but it's really the growth in him as a shooter to stretch it out, shoot three-point shots that really has opened up some eyes. They set the pick. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Wells sets the pick for Holiday. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And he wasn't going to get away with that one. Still in motion when he set that screen. Yeah, really trying to sell it out there, but the official just, he ain't buying. Pelicans leading by 13. And Davis changed his whole shooting form in New Orleans. He used to shoot from his chest. It blocked his view of the basket. That's never a good thing. That's your, that's your target. So shifting it over on the right side, more towards the shoulder, raising up so that he's got a, a more clear shooting window. That takes a lot of diligent work, Kevin, and a lot of players try their whole career to fix a shot that's failed. I think AD has done a good job of not only committing to it, but finding success with the new form. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin particularly here to start the game. 
And Moore kicks to Cousins. Moore outside. Davis dishes to Moore. Just five on the clock. Holiday with the three. Offensive rebound. Here's Cousins. Good D by Holiday. Credit the defense wisely avoiding fouling the shooter. You don't want to give up a personal there. And he made him attempt a difficult layup. He kicks to Brown. Let's the three fly. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got three rebounds so far in the game. There's the triple. Traps in the tray. Cousins has got his third bucket of the night. I just appreciate the fact that Cousins can step out to that distance. He has a nice, soft touch from behind the arc. To the wing right side. Markkinen sets the pick for Miritich. Brown kicks to Wells. Miller against Holiday. Pass to Wells. And the Bulls with another miss. Here's New Orleans. They're on an 18-6 run. To the inside, Cousins. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Drew Holiday's got three assists in the game. Here's Wells. Trains it from beyond the arc. Wells has got himself on the board with three there. And from what I've seen and heard, Shammy Wells has gone out of his way to take DJ under his wing in the NBA. Not, not sure if that's the guy you want as a veteran leader, but he and DJ seem to be on the same page. Here's Brown. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one is on Holiday. Two shots, gentlemen. And from the day that Anthony Davis was drafted, New Orleans had a win-now mindset. Well, that's what the decree from the upper management was. And maybe a little bit unfair to put that kind of pressure on such a young superstar talent who wanted to find his way in the NBA. The front office focused on making some trades and surrounding him right away without understanding exactly what Anthony Davis was going to be good at. Let's face it, he's still great. And there's still that opportunity for A.D. That free throw, no good. Some changes for New Orleans. Jordan Crawford's checked in for each one more. And Ian Clark subbed in for Drew Holiday. And the second free throw, good. And so it's New Orleans with it. 16-point lead and going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. Yeah, and they put up a goose egg last year when they played this team twice. Markkinen pulls it in. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Puts it up from 15, buries the jump shot. And it's six points for Easy Breezy. Oh, great awareness. No reason to take it inside there against the taller man. Yeah, most analytics will tell you that the mid-range jumper is not an efficient shot, but you see how effective with guys like that it can be. Well executed, great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there, carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. And so it's New Orleans with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Their defense has been active and effective. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And looking at what we've seen, Pelicans pretty much in control here. I mean, you saw it. That barrage of threes has them grooving here after one. Well, they found a little bit of space out there on the perimeter, and they have a shared confidence right now. That tends to breed some success for this team. On the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. The bigs inside, Davis and Cousins. Ian Clark out there with Jordan Crawford, and it's Miller in at the three. Here's Brown. And fouled on the shot, so the bucket counts, and a chance for one more here. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. 
Well, he's also crafty wow. with how he approaches it. Right there, he uses just the right move to lay it in. Brent, when you played, you were able to score in a variety of ways. Which do you think you were better at, shooting off the catch or off the dribble? There's no doubt that shooting off the catch, Kevin, was much easier for me. I love the fact that I could get my feet set, start to anticipate when the ball was coming, who the ball was coming from, and then establish my own rhythm for each of those opportunities to cast away at the rim. I would think, though, you'd get rhythm by working off the dribble, too. Yeah, sometimes you have to be able to do that, but I oftentimes use that dribble to maybe create another opportunity for a teammate. And then the other idea, Kevin, is if you're a great catch and shoot player, the pump fake and one dribble in, that's something you have to perfect to keep the defense honest in terms of their closeouts. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Pelicans do have their challenges, but Anthony Davis remains committed to winning in New Orleans. He said, I love it here. I don't plan on leaving. Yes, I fit into that old school category where I want to try to win where I start my career. That's always been a goal of mine. My goal is to bring a championship here. Kevin? And David, loyalty does go a long way. Davis is a perfect guy to build your team around. He wants to win. The Bulls making a switch here. Ondexter's checked in. Wells in the corner. Up again. And it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Wells passes to Markinen. And again, Chicago, no good. Pelicans leading by 16. Deep two from Crawford. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Well, being aggressive is one thing, but aggression with control is another. And you need both elements working together. Clark dishes the Cousins. Davis sets a screen. Crawford kicks to Davis. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Just an excellent job by Davis commanding the ball in the paint and finishing with that look with tremendous confidence. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. And they couldn't get stops when they needed to. The opposition just too comfortable shooting the basketball. And it's not that you have to take chances, but you got to step up your effort and try to get disruptive. They never did that. And on the road, that's a recipe. New Orleans gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. And Moore kicks to Holiday. A three-pointer, no good. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Drills the three-pointer. Well, in this day and age, big men shoot more and more three-pointers, and he's fully capable of a triple. Left side, Davis. Shoots over Markinen. And it's off the back rim, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Round the pass to Markinen. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Now let's take a look at how the shots have been divided up between three-point shots and two-point shots for the Bulls. 131 left in the second quarter. Holiday with the block. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. New Orleans leading by 10. Miller with a wide open look. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Miller's got five points now in the quarter. Now Brown, nine points in the game so far. Kicks to Markinen. Outside Holiday. 
And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Holiday's got six points. New Orleans has gone four to seven on three-point shots in the second quarter. Davis sets a screen. Holiday against Brown. Davis sets a screen. Holiday dishes to Davis. The rebound by Holiday. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And Davis sends it back. Just a wonderful effort from Davis on the defensive end with that rejection. But he stays with it. And Holiday kicks to Moore. Davis sets a screen. Goes back up. Goes up again. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the little. DeMarcus Cousins, he's been the guy making things happen for New Orleans. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Alvin Gentry. Coach, you're leading at the half. What will you continue to emphasize to your team? Well, I mean, defensively, we still have to be good. we got to rebound the basketball. And then we've got to continue to push the basketball and score offensively. We'll see if you can keep that going in the second half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. You look at DeMarcus Cousins in this game. He has been everywhere. Ends up going with the new group. New Orleans also making some changes. Morris checked in for Hill. Jordan Crawford comes in for Allen. And Ian Clark subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Brown out there with Wells. Then there's Markinen. Then there's Nikola Miritic. And it's Pondexter in at the three, the small four. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Davis, the pass to Moore. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got five assists tonight. Good touch on the inside from Etwan Moore. Never bashful about taking it right to the defense. Etwan Moore out of Purdue, the 45th pick in the 2011 draft. Really pretty much a 3 and D combo guy and has some versatility even to guard the point guards. New Orleans leading by eight. Screen by Cousins. And Moore kicks to Cousins. Now the feed to Davis. That one drops for him. And Moore is certainly a self-made player. He prides himself, in fact, on his work ethic. When you think about in 2017, Moore coming around, drilling 77 three-pointers and shooting 37% last year. So becoming a bit more effective as a two-way player with those kind of numbers. For New Orleans, they have shot 67% from the line tonight, going 4-6. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. Justin Holliday's checked in for the Bulls. And New Orleans also making a change. Drew Holliday's checked in for Jordan Crawford. And that one falls for Davis. Brent, when you were playing in Seattle, those were the best assist years statistically of your career. What led you to become such a catalyst for that offense? Well, it was interesting just as I finally got an opportunity to start to play with the basketball as a two guard a little bit more in Seattle, trying to play a little bit more up tempo. And again, I'll mention opportunities because of Gary Payton getting double teamed. It opened up situations for me, Kevin, where I could be a bit more creative as the off guard. And you loved that, didn't you? Uh, I love playing that way. I, I wish I had more years of doing that, kind of the run and gun style that, that Phoenix employed for most of the mid 2000s with that seven seconds or less. I could have been agreeable with that. Cousins, no one around him. Davis on the follow. Davis has got 18 points. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. The shot by Wells, no good. It seems to be forcing just a little bit out there. He needs to play a little calmer, a little smarter, with a little bit more poise if they're going to win this one. And Moore kicks to Clark. Davis with a screen on Holiday. Back to Moore. Six on the shot clock. Sinks the triple. 
Moore's got five points now this quarter. Well, each one more doesn't get a lot of open touches, but when he does, he's got to be prepared to shoot. So let's that one go quickly. Pass to Miritich. He dishes it to Wells. Markinen sets the pick for Wells. Here's Miritich. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And Holiday kicks to Moore. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Moore's got his third basket of the night right there. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Miritich the screen. And here's Brown outside. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Holiday's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And Clark, while we have a moment, let's show you the list of players who put up the most points last year fourth Anthony Davis and looking back his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off I mean one special performance after another all season long the first one falls uh, more as an efficient scorer out here plays well within himself on the offensive end He hits both from the stripe. Alvin Gentry plucked away from the Warriors staff that won a title in 2015, and he was an assistant coach there. He sees the opportunity to take over his own team once again after having coached in Phoenix and headed to New Orleans. Now has a ton of talent on the inside. Can he get some guard help this year to make a push to the playoffs? Cousins against Miritich, and again, New Orleans has no luck. Bulls trail by 16. And here is Wells. 12 points for him. Markinen kicks to Brown. And not sure what he was thinking there. And it's the Pelicans' ball. They're on a 14-6 run. New Orleans moving the ball around. And Holiday kicks to Cousins. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Drew Holiday's got six assists now in the game. Chicago's going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. There's a good screen. Back to Brown. Outside Holiday. A three-pointer, no good. New Orleans leading by 18. Now here is Holiday. Davis up top, covered by Miritich. And Davis can't get it to go. The Bulls shooting 35% or so in the third quarter. Whatever they're trying is not working. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Nikola Miritich. At the line for the Bulls, two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Levine's checked in for Brown. Bulls trail by 15. And hey guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Pelicans. And one area that stands out that uh, we've seen tonight from them their aggressiveness in getting steals, something I know that you really value yourself. I think it sparked their offense. Uh, it, it deflates the opposition, and when you have the type of effort we saw tonight, it's pretty hard to overcome that defensive pressure down the stretch. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year, actually their fifth win on the year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions and the nice night it ended up being for Davis. That's amazing defense from him. Seemed to know exactly when to pounce on the passing lanes and predictive steals. So for New Orleans right now, the star big men pair of Davis and Cousins are up front. Holiday out there with Rajon Rondo, and it's Hill in at the small forward position. Screen by Cousins. Here's Davis. 
so we see New Orleans taking the W here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Yeah, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect. Well, that was embarrassing. It's over now. I could hear the disappointment from the fans, boo boo. Oh, man. man. Come on. It's one game in one season. Be like the ball and bounce back. Hey, DJ Spaulding. That's what I'm going to call you. DJ Spaulding, baby. Bounce back.